Hello, um, this is the Blink 167, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve the Rubik's Cube. The first thing you need to know about solving a Rubik's Cube is that the Rubik's Cube is solved using something called algorithms. What algorithms are, are basically moves that if they are done the same, uh, the same thing, the same moves over and over again, if they're done a certain number of times, the cube will go back to its original uh, shape, or well, it'll be solved. So, um, here I'll show you an example. N notice how I just keep doing the same moves over and over again. And it's solved. Now, the first thing you need to know is the sides and what I will be referring to them as um, because during algorithms like I will be saying letters um, to, to like to tell you what sides to turn now I'll tell you all the sides the top side if you're holding it facing you the top side is going to be referred to as U for up now, if I were to say U, like just the letter U, if I were to say that you would turn the top side, or the up side, whatever you want to refer it to, you would turn it clockwise. If I were to say U, I, or U inverted, you would turn it counterclockwise. Same thing for all the other sides. Now, this side right here, if you were holding it, and it's on the right, it will it's the right side this side, it will be referred to as R or RI, same thing. If I were to say R, R, or just R, you would turn it clockwise. RI, counterclockwise. This side is left side, or L, same thing. If I were to say L, you would turn it clockwise. LI, counterclockwise. This side, the front side will be referred to as F or FI. Front, if I were to say F, you would turn it clockwise. FI, counterclockwise. And the bottom side will be referred to as D for down, like the down side. If I were to say DI, down, inverted, which would be down, counterclockwise, or if I were to say down, clockwise. And the back side will be referred to as B. Well, well, in the method I use, I don't use the back side, but if you ever learn another method, B, B, clockwise, B, I, counterclockwise. Same thing for each side. Now that you learn, that now that you know the sides and the algorithms, what an algorithm is, it is now time to solve, or I'm sorry, to scramble the cube. So we will go ahead and do that. And just scramble it up. There. Pretty scrambled. Okay. Scrambled Rubik's Cube. Now the first thing in solving the Rubik's Cube is going to be solving this cross right there. And while, so, you to get the cross, what you want to do is you can start with any side, but for this demonstration so that we're all on the same page, I'm just going to go ahead and start with the red side. You can start with the red side. I recommend doing that. Again, so we're just all on the same page, but you can start with whatever, whatever side you want. It doesn't matter. Now, to solve the cross, you're going to want to look for one of these pieces. Like one, uh, this piece, or this piece, or this piece to, to fill in. This, the center piece will never move. So just look for the red center piece, and then just look for these pieces to fill in. I'm going to go and find one. Here's one. Because if you were to swing that up, it would go right there. What you want to do is, th because this is the red and the white um, bottom piece, you just want to swing this piece over to the right. 
and then to get it up here, all you gotta do is just um, do just swing it, tw just do the front side twice. And that will put that right there, and it will also make make it so it's white and white. And then for this one, you would want green and green. Um, now now here's a perfect. Now you 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 want you want the like you want it to be two colors because you're just gonna need that for the future. Here's a perfect example of where you find the piece. You have red and blue. This is a piece that would go right here. You swing it over to the right place. You turn it up, but whoa, it's it's flipped the wrong way. See, this is red. Red needs to be here and blue needs to be right here. Well, this is where your first algorithm comes in. This algorithm goes like this. You have the piece right here. It just needs to be flipped. This algorithm is front inverted, up, left inverted, up. And it got it there, and it didn't mess up the white side, but it got it there, and it's and now we have those first two pieces. Now knowing these two, um, now now knowing that algorithm and getting it in, into the right place the other way by just swinging it up, getting it underneath the right color, you should be able to solve the cross. So I'm going to go ahead and solve the cross. There. Now once you've solved it, you should have the cross, and then you also have these bars. Now the next step in solving it is to solve these four corner pieces right here. To do this, what you're going to want to do is find a corner piece that will go there. Like look for a red piece. Here, I found one right there. Notice this is the red, the white, and the blue corner piece. So you want to swing that over to the, the red, the white, and the blue um, this corner. And now to solve this, you're going to need to know this algorithm to get this piece up to here. This algorithm goes like this. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. You're going to need to do that a certain number of times to get this piece to, need to where it needs to be. So you're going to want this red part right here facing up right there. So do it again. Repeat it as many times as you need to to get the piece right there. Again, that algorithm is right inverted, down inverted, right down. And there, you'll see, we have it. And it goes blue, blue, and then white, white. And then you're just going to want to find another red piece. Found one right there. Swing it over to the, this is the red, the green, and the white uh, corner piece. Swing it over to the red, the white, the green corner piece right there. And you're just going to want to do that right inverted, down inverted, right down algorithm again to get that corner piece into the right position. And there, we have it. Now, just solve the rest of those again. Bring it down here. Do the right inverted, down inverted, right down algorithm. And one more corner piece to solve. There, solved. Now, if you did it correctly, you should have this entire side solved. But also, you'll notice that even that um, besides just having the side solved, you also have the first layer solved, as well as the middle pieces all lining up with the corresponding colors. That, it, that concludes the first part of my Rubik's Cube tutorial. Please move on to my next video to figure out the next steps in solving the Rubik's Cube. Thank you.